From Innovation Park, it's After Hours. With your host, Matt Roskin and Chloe Collins. Tonight on After Hours, the State College Area Roller Derby stops by. And correspondent Zach McHale. Now here's your host, Matt Ruskin. Woo! Welcome to After Woo! Hours, everybody. This is my favorite show. Woo! Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching so much. I'm Matt Roskin, your host, and alongside me is our co-host, Chloe Cullen. That's right, co-host. You are the co-host. I am the co-host. I said that, Mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to some news. Burger King's parent company recently bought Popeyes for $1.8 billion. This will bring the fast food chain known for its Cajun chicken to new locations all over the world. Great news, said cardiologists everywhere. <laughs> uh, speaking of food, marijuana home delivery started in Oregon this week. As if delivery drivers didn't already have enough to deal with. <laughs> so I guess Driver now the slam. weed guys will be getting tipped with pizza instead. <laughs> you know, it's weird. I think a guy in my freshman dorm was already in this kind of business. <laughs> <laughs> I won't name names. Uh, Sean Spicer. <laughs> Sean Spicer is now asking law enforcement, constraint, law enforcement to constrain marijuana usage. Sean Spicer later changed his mind when he realized the dispensary near him sold gum. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, the parent company of Snapchat, will go public next month in hopes to sell its stock for around $15 a share. And this would put the company's value at around $20 million. So look out for the Snapchat's newest, <laughs> the Snapchat, Snapchat's newest filter, Wall Street Douche. <laughs> Why'd you cut to me? <laughs> um, <laughs> a woman in Florida was arrested for prostitution after offering an undercover cop oral sex for two soft shell tacos. Booyah. <laughs> Man, if I had a dollar for every time that happened to me, I could buy two tacos. <laughs> Um, <laughs> speaking of the cops, members of the Boston Police Department built a cat condo for a stray cat that had been visiting the department for three years. Although it seemed like a nice gesture, local cats have complained that the condo has raised their property taxes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cat was later arrested after the police found three pounds of catnip hidden in the floorboards. They got him on, <laughs> they got him on probable cause. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a case for pause and order. Dum -dum. And finally, <laughs> Joe Biden recently signed with the talent agency CAA. This talent agency represents movie superstars Jennifer Lawrence, Brad Pitt, and Will Smith. Will Smith. So, yeah. So you can look forward to these blockbuster hits coming out in the near future. We got the Joe Unchained. <laughs> How to Train Your Biden. And finally, my favorite, Saving Private Biden. <laughs> I love that. We got a great show for you tonight. People, um, some people from Roller Derby are here, so we're going to Roller Derby out here. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, the Associated Press reported that 794 pounds of cocaine worth over $50 million washed up on a beach in eastern England. We sent our senior international drug traffic correspondent, Zach McHale, over there to give us an update on the situation. Zach, how's the investigation coming along? <laughs> it's like a winter wonderland out here. Uh, Zach? Oh, Matt O, what's going on? Uh, I'm wondering the same question. Looks like there's a lot of people involved in this investigation. Oh, this? Uh, no, they're just still really excited about Brexit. And the investigation? Oh, the investigation? It's coming along great. They say they're really gonna get them. You know, you don't sound very convincing with that statement. Yeah, well... Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Better luck next time, Zach. You win some, you lose some. Zach, you seem extra cheerful today. Matt, I had sex for the first time in four years. Well, congratulations? <laughs> no. No, I'm sorry, that was a lie. It's probably just the cocaine. Whoa, Zach, you can't say that on TV. You know what, get me that guy. I want to talk to that guy. Oh, this? Oh, this is Matthew Rivers from the crime agency's border investigation team. <laughs> Matthew, get over here. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, no, I'm really not in a state to be on screen. <laughs> no, it's fine. Look, Matthew, meet Matt. You guys can talk this out. <laughs> Escobar's back! Nice to meet you, Matthew. Matthew, what can you tell us about the situation so far? Well, currently, uh, we're trying to find out who left uh, these drugs here and uh, why. Could it be a high-end drug lord? Or possibly a wealthy good Samaritan trying to bring a little bit of joy to a cruel world? And how are you going about trying to catch the perpetrator? Just, um, just looking for boats. <laughs> looking for boats? Sir, how long is this investigation going on for? <laughs> it could go on for weeks! Zach! Okay, so what if they mis misplaced a little bit of cocaine? Big whoop! Okay, um, thanks for your time. All right, I think that's enough out of you for today. Enjoy the rest of your investigation, Zach. <laughs> Matt, I can't feel my entire face. <laughs> God damn it, we'll be right back. Welcome back to After Hours. Thank you so much for being back. Um, today we have four special guests from the State College Area Roller Derby. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. All right, so first, we were talking before. You guys have some like really cool names. So I just want to go through and introduce yourself and tell us your roller derby name. We can start with uh, My roller derby name is the Ovarian Fist. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> um, there is a story. Um, I mean, you know, mostly it was just meant to be this sort of like symbol of female power, yeah. sort of a play on it's like great, yeah. an ovarian cyst, but also <laughs> the, you know, the tendency to refer to people as being ballsy or something mm -hmm. like that. And I sort of took it and put a female yeah. spin on it because usually female body parts are used to yeah. equate the opposite <laughs> of strength and courage. Mm -hmm. So. I kind of took that and flipped yeah. it around. That's great. I'm really used that. <laughs> In everyday conversation, that's going to come up. Yeah. yeah. All right, your turn. Uh, my derby name's Letter Havoc. I'm number 12, but when the announcers announce it, it's 1 2. Ooh. So uh, that comes from my last name, which is Letter. And I've never played a sport before roller derby. So I wanted my last name on my jersey. Okay. Um, but I also wanted a pun because puns are great. <laughs> so uh, Letter Havoc sounds like Letter Have It. So I just realized that right now. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it it a takes second. a while. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of them are sort of like <laughs> joke grenades or slow burns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. You want to go next? Uh, name's Nightshade. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and there's Deadly Nightshade that poisons. So awesome, yeah. that's where that one comes from. Awesome. Poisoning. That's all I got. Cool. Yeah, Poisoning pretty much. Poisoning the other team, yeah. <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, my name is Black Widow. Um, I'm black, and then uh, <laughs> eat my men. So. <laughs> Great, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Those are better than I was expecting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what would I'm trying to think? Like, what would our names be if we had? They would be so lame. <laughs> what would what would our names be? <laughs> Just for meeting mm. us for five minutes. Well, usually it's, most people will try to start if they don't like. I mean, I started with my name, mm -hmm. so some people will start with their names. Other people right. start with something they're a really big fan my of. My name's Roskin, so it'd probably be Roskin. <laughs> Roskin. Roskin. <laughs> There's gonna be some fun about Roskin in there. Yeah. Awesome. Now Cullen. <laughs> Cullen. Cullen. We'll come. Shots. We'll come back. To, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Um, so, do you guys want to explain a little bit of how roller derby works? Sure. The actual game. At it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, the way I like to explain it is, um, each team skates five skaters for any okay. given jam, which all of our games are divided into two minute or less uh, plays that we refer to as jams. Um, each jam has five skaters uh, from each team. Uh, one skater from that team wears a star on her helmet and is known as the jammer, and she's the only one who can score points. So it's basically a race between the two jammers around the track, but to, in addition to racing one another, they're trying to get through the pack that is made up of their own skaters and the opposing skaters who are trying to help slash stop them. So the blockers are playing offense and defense at the same time, mm -hmm. and the jammers are trying to not die. This sounds dangerous. Yes. <laughs> this sounds really dangerous. Not die. Great. That was, that was 
Yeah. Spot on. Does like <laughs> does someone get injured like every time? <laughs> Um, we usually leave with some bruises. Some bruises. Yeah, bumps yeah, and bruises, but honestly, uh, most of the serious injuries happen more when people are learning to skate and okay. not so much during actual contact. <laughs> so, or when you're messing oh. around in between drills. Yeah. So I actually broke and dislocated my arm. Oh. I was trying to do a figure skating move on roller skates. I don't know how to figure skate. No one touched her. <laughs> no one touched her. That was all her. <laughs> and that's all by myself. And honestly, <laughs> most broken bones, that's how they happen is it's just like messing around uh, well I, just, I wasn't in derby stance mm -hmm. um which is what we refer to um the best way to demonstrate is to stand up but i won't do that I won't okay. off, but, um, it's like you know when you're in an athletic stance ready yeah, to take like or receive a three hit. point stance yeah yeah like you're sitting basketball. on a toilet Someone, without yeah. the toilet i got you yeah. <laughs> 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 So <laughs> we teach derby stance. It's like one of the first things we teach when we're teaching our new mm -hmm. kids. Right. God. Speaking of which, so you're talking about how there is like a recruitment process. It's not so much walking in, but you also have to have these tough people that are going to take the bruises yeah, and hit. So what is hit. your like recruitment process and what's that looking like? Well, these two are actually some of our newest recruits. So do you guys want to talk about that? Sure. So um, they actually start by doing clinics. So we started in like July of last year and it's like five weeks and you can come every Sunday and they actually five just dollars. Huh? It's five dollars. Yeah, it's five bucks. But <laughs> um, you come and they kinda teach you just like the formalities of it. How, if you can skate and they kinda teach you how to skate, um, the the stances. Um, and then it gets into the actual recruitment week, which is like twelve or fourteen weeks. Um, and every week that you're coming in, it's just they they're building on it. So you come in on Sundays at night and then we come in on Wednesdays which has an entire scar. Uh, organization so that one gets a little bit nerving because it's just like all these people that are talented and you're just like I'm barely on my skate <laughs> but um, <laughs> the great thing about the organization is that they're really uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for we're um, we're all, like, inclusive inclusive yeah. supportive we, t we don't make people Empowering. do anything until they're ready to do it so like, okay. for example we're, we don't hit people or let them be hit um, or hit each other or hit us until one, they're prepared for that, or mm -hmm. two, they, they buy the insurance they yeah. need to buy <laughs> um, through, through, through um, the Women's yeah. Flat Track Derby Association, which is kind of like the governing body. But um, there's no tryouts. We okay. don't turn people away. Um, okay. It's All it takes is just people who are willing and able, mm -hmm. um, and we let them borrow gear, skates. Um, the only thing we have them bring with them is the mouth guard, because you don't want to borrow a mouth yeah. guard. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. going $2. Um, but we're cool. currently in a recruitment process right now, actually. And can anyone sign up? It's not just like for students and like... No, Anyone. So actually, none of us here are students right okay, now, yeah. actually. Right, right. So. Yeah, I mean, we usually say adults 18 to 80. I think that that's what our insurance covers. Um, so yeah, you really just have to be an adult. Uh, you know, we to actually be a competitive skater on the team, you have to identify as female. But we have um, skating referee positions as well as a lot of off-skates positions available to men or even women who aren't interested in necessarily knocking other people down on roller skates, which is, I don't understand <laughs> that philosophy personally, but <laughs> some people seem to think I'm weird, so I don't know. <laughs> um, so when's your next event or your next game? Um, so our next recruitment event is mm -hmm. actually um, coming up. It's on Sunday, March 3rd. Okay. Yeah. Yes, March 3rd. <laughs> Sunday, March 3rd at 7 o'clock p.m. It's at Penn, All of our home events are at Penn Skates out by the airport on High Tech Drive. Mm -hmm. um, and then our next home game is March 25th. That's our Happy Valley Dolls, which is our A team, our internationally ranked WIFTA team, um, playing a awesome. Penn, uh, Jersey Derby Brigade. Okay. And that starts at, um, doors open at 4.30, game starts at 5. We'll have uh, tickets available online ahead of time or at the door. Awesome. Kids under 10 always get in for free, though. Really? <laughs> kids love it. Oh, my gosh, they absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. and if people want to find out more about you guys, where can they find you? Um, on we're on Facebook. Facebook at State College Area Roller Derby. Mm -hmm. We also have a website, scarderby.com, and we're on Instagram. That's awesome. Scar Derby. Right. And anything else that you guys want to add to make sure it gets out to yeah. the public? Um, come check us out. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to be part of the organization. It's a lot of fun to just be a fan. So come check us out. And actually, I believe it's March 5th is Sunday. Yes. Yes. Um, we'll have for recruitment. Then. So come try it out. Join us. Yeah, we're be part of a new family. Yeah, Ross Skin's in. I'll be yeah. there. Ross Skin's in. Got our Ross Skin's Everybody's very, very welcoming. Awesome. Skins. And thank That's you guys good. so much for, for coming by. And uh, if you want to check out the State College Area Roller Derby, go visit their website and their Facebook and all that stuff. And uh, we'll be right back with more After Hours.
back to the show. Thank you so much for the State College Area Roller Derby girls doing whatever the hell they're doing right now. If you want to check them out, find them on Facebook or Instagram. We'll be tweeting that out in our post. Find us more after hours on YouTube. Chloe, got anything else to say? This is my favorite episode so far. All right, we'll see you after spring break, guys. Woo! <laughs>